Bridgeport Motorsports Park last season, driving out of Ringo's, New Jersey. He is in the Camp Out Incorporated number 26, Ryan Goda. Third row on the inside, driving car number 14, hailing out of McGraw, New York, the WXM Auto Repair number 14, Kaylee DeMorier. And alongside, driving car number three, he will hail out of Avoca, New York, and the Gin Trucking number three, Woodhull Speedway regular, Jake Gin. Fourth row on the inside, Albany Saratoga champion this season, last year I should say, driving out of King Ferry, New York. He drives in the Adirondack Auto. Tony Monaco Landscaping number 35 will be Mike Mahaney. And outside of him, out of Weedsport, New York, originally out of Queensland, Brisbane, Australia, driving in the Rider Racing number 21A, Peter Britton. Final row inside. Driving in the Grasso Homes number 32 out of Bellamy, New Jersey, feature winner last year at New Egypt Speedway, Brandon Grasso. And your final starting spot, Last year, he picked up his 11th career track championship at the Grandview Speedway, driving the Brucci and Sons, Pider Metal Roofing, 1C, out of Ole, Pennsylvania, better known as CBD, it's Craig Von Doren. Again, eight laps. We will qualify for redraw two into today's 40-lap, 5,000-to-win speed showcase 40-lapper. We are ready to go. The opening event on today's racing program. Right now, it looks like we got caution lights remaining on. Caution lights remain on. Brand new wheel and caution lights around the speedway here at Port Royal. Signifying we are not going to restart. Ryan Riddle, regular on Del Marva at Delaware International and Georgetown Speedways. Max McLaughlin, one of two new higher guns for Norm Hansel. Mad Max will be driving on the short track Super Series for Norm Hansel, while the regular Saturday, Friday and Saturday night higher gun will be Danny Buck. Danny is here today in his own number 32. Well, race fans, are you ready? First competitive laps here at the Port Royal Speedway. Jeff and I will be bringing you the action for the Bob Hilbert Sportsburg Short Track Super Series fueled by Sunoco here this afternoon. Heat race number one is underway. Green flag is out. Here we go. Joe Chris got the green in the air, and we got Mad Max grabbing the lead. Go down to the inside of the 31 to Riddle, and we got him three wide again out of the turn with Mahaney to the inside. He'll pick up third. Mahaney shot out of a cannon there in turns number two. He'll rest himself in the third for now. Battle for the lead off for turn number four. Coming down to the line, the leading that number one is going to be McLaughlin, but he's going to be challenged by Rogan. Yeah, Ryan, go down. Go down. Slide tie just a little bit. Here comes Mahaney. Keep your eye on the one C, Craig Von Dor, and he started last. He started last, and in one lap, he is in fourth. Draw a bad number, doesn't matter. Race your way to the front. Von Doren now in the last qualifying spot. And we got a three-car duel for the number one spot. McLaughlin, go down, and Mike Mahaney. Go down's going to follow McLaughlin through the bottom side there. Turns one and two. Here comes Mahaney. He found some bite. He's going to move himself into that second spot. He's not done yet there. McLaughlin's going to go down low. Mahaney trying to find some through the middle. He's right there, Jeff. Here he comes off the corner. Michael Mahaney now to the outside, going by Ryan Godown. Mahaney and Godown are side by side. A preview of things to come today. Throw a blanket over the top three. Down the back straight away now. Mahaney will go after Mad Max as they work into the corner. This time by, they will see the halfway sign. It's going to be four in and four to go. Keep your eye on Mike Mahaney. He has a run on McLaughlin. McLaughlin, he's going to go down low. Mahaney's real good up high into turn number two. He's going to try to dive in the corner. But McLaughlin's showing a lot of speed in that 357. Max McLaughlin keeps that Norm Hansel 357 out front using all available lanes. He'll drop to the bottom this time. Mike Mahaney right behind McLaughlin down the straightaway. Meanwhile, Peter Britton getting a little closer to Craig Von Doren for that fourth and final transfer spot. Cars really working the Port Royal Speedway to perfection here in the opening heat race of the afternoon. Max McLaughlin, he's your leader. Then it's Mike Mahaney. They break away from the rest of the field. Here comes Mahaney trying to find something up high. They're side by side momentarily. Twin sticks in year two to go. Whoever gets this heat race win will be the first one to pick at the redraw for the feature. And right now, McLaughlin and Mahaney battling Royale down the back straight away. Mahaney throwing everything but the kitchen sink right now at Mad Max but the young man is holding firm up front. 
Also, we got a battle for fourth developing. Here comes the 21A of Peter Britton trying to get around Craig Bondorn as the white sheet is in the air. One more lap to go. McLaughlin leads him into turn number two. Slides high, gets a nice bite off the cushion. He'll lead them down the back stretch. Final lap in our opening heat race heading into the corner. Mad Max, Max McLaughlin will hold firm after intense pressure. Top of the straightaway, checkered flag will wave and Max McLaughlin will grab the win. Mike Mahaney gets second. Ryan Godown will be third. Fourth spot across the line will be Craig Bondoran, followed by Britton Grasso, Riddle, A. Kelly DeMorier, and Taylor. Heat number one, your winning driver will be the 357 of Max McLaughlin. Runner up to the 35, Mike Mahaney. Third, the 26, Ryan Godown. And fourth, after starting last, to qualify the 1C of Craig Von Duren. Heat number two, pole position. Driving out of Caledonia, New York. He was one of the stars of the show yesterday. Driving the Sweeteners Plus number 30, 23 is Kyle K-Cup. Kyle Coffey. Outside of him. He was the winner of the Speed Showcase 200 here last season. Driving the Barron's Performance Warehouse number three. Out of St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada is Max Williamson. Matt Williamson. Second row on the inside, driving from Neganish, Louisiana. He is in the Legacy Construction B-52, Brandon Hightower. And outside of him, driving in the Smith Slate Development, number 91, the Thunder Mountain Speedway Track Champion last year and a 2018 Short Track Super Series Champion from Unadilla, New York, the Franklin Flyer, Billy Decker. Row three on the inside, driving in the Volco Wheels, number 323. He hails out of Ringo's, New Jersey, DBH, David Van Horn, Jr., Alongside of him out of Phoenix, New York, the Land of Legends Speedway champion last season, driving in the Gypsum Wholesalers, number 99, the FX Caprera Car Company's number 99L, Lightning Larry White. Fourth row inside the B&T Tools, number 112 from Lambertville, New Jersey, Kale Ross outside the Halmar 43, sensational Jimmy Horton. Final row inside the Two Rivers Timber, number 22 is Billy Van Pelt, and outside of him, in the Mid-State Recycling, 58M is Marshall Hurd. Ten cars again, eight laps will qualify for. Here they come. Green flag is out on the second heat race of the afternoon. Cars drive racing in the turn number one. Here comes Matt Williamson. He's going to take your early lead as we are three wide off for turn number two. Here comes the 99L of Larry White. Larry White now in third spot. Billy Decker right behind him. Then Brandon Hightower, David Van Horn as they battle with Jimmy Horton. Billy Decker tried to make it through there on the bottom side of turn number four on the 99L of Larry White, but White, he's going to work the top side there in turn number two, try to find some grip. He does. He's going to pull alongside Coffee. There goes Larry White. He's in the second. Maybe not so quick. Kyle Coffey's tried to hold on to the spot, but Larry has it now. Kyle Coffey, a great run yesterday. Billy Decker now putting the pressure on Kyle Coffey down the straightaways. Eight battle for third and fourth into the third. David Van Horn closing quickly now in fifth. Yeah, good call, Jeff, because as those Billy Decker and Kyle Coffey were battling on the bottom side, here comes David Van Horn Jr. He had a great run on the top side. Where does he go in turns number three? He's going to switch lanes. He's going to run through the middle. He's going to try to split the two cars in front of him that are going to be Kyle Coffey and Billy Decker. Billy Decker's going to move in the third in the turn number one. And while we talk about David Van Horn Jr., look who's right behind him. Brandon Hightower, the B-52 from Mechanist, Louisiana. Down the back straightaway, Decker getting by Kyle Coffey. He'll take over third, and now Van Horn is right on their back bumper. He'll sweep to the outside with the 323. Absolutely, David Van Horn has found something on the top side in turns one and two. Still, three and four is not coming in for him yet. He's going to go right back up to the cushion and try to rip the lip there off for turn and number two. Kyle Coffey still right behind him. Coffey can't quite get through the slick. Here comes Van Horn. Going to try to switch lanes. Can't quite do it. He, however, he pulls alongside Coffey. Contact is made in turn number four. He's going to get that spot. David Van Horn making his way through the bottom of Kyle Coffey. And here comes Hightower. Brandon Hightower and now Jimmy Horton. A four-car battle for one qualifying spot. As they work their way down to back Ritter, right now Van Horn has taken it. Absolutely. But meanwhile, coming down the front stretch, he will see the twin sticks in the air. Two more laps to go. It's going to be the number three of Matt Williamson. Car is getting a little sideways there off for turn number four. The big winner of that battle is going to be the 43 of Jimmy Horton. He's up the fourth. However, time is running out. One lap to go this time by. How about 
the savvy veteran Jimmy Horton sweeping to the outside around both Coffee and Hightower, gaining two spots in one move. He is trying to catch Van Horn, but we've only got one lap to go in this exciting heat number two. Right now, the three of Money Matt, Matt Williamson leading the way down the back straightaway. Then you have Larry White, Billy Decker. Here comes David Van Horn at 323. He's going to settle in that fourth and final transfer spot, but checkered flag out and winning heat race number two is going to be the three of Matt Williamson. Larry White comes across second, followed by Billy Decker. David Van Horn will qualify. Horton, then Coffey, Hightower, Van Pelt, and Kale Ross, followed by Marshall Hurd. Heat number two, the winning driver, the three, of Matt Williamson, followed by the 99L, Larry White. Third, the 91, Billy Decker, and fourth, the 323, David Van Horn, Jr. What a thriller. I love the big block modifieds, and I really love the big block modifieds here at Port Royal Speedway. They always put on a dandy of a show. I cannot wait for their feature event coming up here a little bit later. But unbelievable, we still have three more heat was, races to go. I was going to say, you don't have to wait, Earl. We got <laughs> three more wait. heats. <laughs> heat race number three, pole position, the young man, just a teenager, out of Covington Township, Pennsylvania. Driving in the Whittle Tree Homes, number 84Y, Alex Yankowski. And outside of him... Driving out of Accord, New York, the United Petroleum 3J will be Joe Judge. Second row on the inside, driving out of Sheffield, Massachusetts. He was yesterday's winner at Sealands Grove. Driving in the Garrity Asphalt Reclaiming number four. He is a three-time short track Super Series champion and last year's champion at Lebanon Valley Speedway. The wild child, Andy Bichetti. Outside of him, new hired gun for Butch Getz Motorsports. The Big Creek Concrete 15G out of Ole, Pennsylvania. Dwayne Howard. And alongside inside of row number three, driving in the empty tree service, Phillips Garage, Rick Holson, number 96, it's the kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. Alongside of him, the defending New Egypt Speedway champion, driving in the Gary Septic Service, short load concrete, number 32, out of Pipersville, Pennsylvania, Danny Buck. Row four inside. He was runner-up yesterday afternoon, driving in the Brian Smith Superior, remodeling number 44, out of Middletown, New York, Anthony Perego. And alongside, driving out of Rochester, New York, and the Outlaw Speedway, Sunrise Insulation 27J, the Dr. Danny Johnson. Final row inside, three-time short track Super Series champion out of Boyertown, Pennsylvania, driving the Ronnie's Auto Repair 14W, Ryan Watt, and the final starting spot out of Ransomville, New York, in the Revived Spine Center, number 25, Eric Rudolph. We are ready. Heat number three. Again, eight more laps. Our short track Super Series starter is Joe Chris. Joe says no, no start. Alex Yankowski getting the start there in turn number four, but like Jeff said, no good start. So we're gonna re-rack them and re-stack them here. We're gonna do it again at the chalk line there in turn number four. Yeah, Alex had a big win at Bridgeport Motorsports Park at 100 lap or late last season, won two at Big Diamond Speedway last year. Just a teenage driver, but he has a uh, bright career already in modified racing after a stellar career in sportsman racing. Here they come. Heat number three takes the green. They're already three wide down the straightaway. Buck and Pouch get by McKetty into the turn. Here comes Billy Pouch working the low side. He's going to fall back and forth. Battle for that contact there in turns number three for that second spot going in to that second spot. It's going to be the 15G of Dwayne Howard. The car is really battling for position in this opening lap. Down the straightaway, Billy Pouch Jr. now battling with Joe Judge into the turn. He'll take third spot. But Kenny now gets by Buck. Buck almost in the fence. That'll cost him dearly. Perego goes by. And Bichetti gets by Danny Buck rocketing up the outside lane down the back shredder. Now battling with Perego and Rudolph. Dwayne Howard putting a bid on for the lead off of turn number four. He's going to look to the inside of Yankowski. They drag race contact just a little bit. Close quarters there in turns number one and two. Yankowski just came down a little bit on the 15G of Dwayne Howard. Howard brings it back in. There's still nose to tail with the three. Wow. Howard saw an opening, but Yankowski slammed the door closed. And he'll begin to pull away. Pouts Jr. now third. Andy McKenney now up to fourth. And Danny Buck has recovered to repass Rudolph. Repass Perego. And now right behind Joe Judge. Boom! But Perego lays the lumber to Buck. Buck going into the corner. 
and he'll drive by Buck, Rudolph, and Judge, and Perego get three spots. Close quarters racing here in heat race number three. Here comes the 32, Danny Buck. He's going to look to the low side of Joe Judge. He will move into that position. He's still on the outside looking in. Remember, four cars qualified into tonight's A main event. Here comes Andy McKetty now. He's putting the bid on the third spot for Billy Potts Jr. No holes barred. The gloves are off in this one as they go at it hard into the corner now. Andy McKetty won yesterday afternoon, and Anthony Perego was second, and they're now going to go battling for that last qualifying spot, and we got a battle for the lead, battle for the last qualifying spot, battle for the lead. Where do you watch? Hot and heavy action. Howard putting the pressure on Yankowski down the back, and Perego around McKetty. Perego moving into that fourth and final transfer spot. This time by, they will see twin sticks in the air. Just two more laps to go. Yankowski leads it. Dwayne Howard right behind him. Then you have Billy Pouch Jr. and Perego. Perego is in that fourth and final transfer spot. Andy Bacchetti trying to find some traction down low, but just can't get it. They're off of turn number two. Wow, Perego got by Bacchetti using the outside lane, and now he's quickly moving on to Billy Pouch Jr. And here comes Howard moving back in on Yankowski is not giving up on that number one spot. Joe Christus plays the white flag. We've got one lap to go in another thrilling short track Super Series modified heat. Final lap, battle for first, battle for third. What does Dwayne Howard have here? Yankowski leads him on the bottom side of three and four. Here comes Howard on the run on the bottom. He's right there. Checker flag is out, but the 84 Y of Yankowski will hang on. Perego on the last corner will slip by Pouch and grab third. Then Bacchetti, Rudolph, Buck, Watt, Joe Judge, and Danny Johnson. Wow. What it was, it was racing. Once again, another thriller for the Short Track Super Series Modifieds. Your winning driver, the 84Y, Alex Yankowski. Second, the 15G, Dwayne Howard. Third on the final turn, the 44, Anthony Perego who started back in seventh and grabbed third, and fourth spot, the 96 of Billy Pouch Jr. Heat number four, here's a driver that joined us that wasn't here yesterday, driving out of Beaver Dam, New York. He is in the Patrick Hoops trucking number 12X. It's Dylan Groover, and alongside of him, driving out of Wallkill, New York, the TO Pro number one will be Tyler Dipple. Second row inside, driving in the Ace Material, Active disposal number six from the Shannock Station, New Jersey, Matty Ice, Matt Stangle. He was a big diamond winner last season. And alongside of him, driving the Renola's Mechanical, Harris Upola number 401, Frank Cozy out of Wind Gap, Pennsylvania. Starting on the inside of the third row, driving in the Glen Heinemann All Fab Metal Fabrication, Weak Neck Archery, number 126 from Sayreville, New Jersey, Dominic Buffalino. And alongside out of Sanborn, New York, he is driving. In the Niagara Lawn and Garden Equipment number three is Chad Brockman. Chad, a former champion at Ransomville and Merrittville Speedways. Fourth row inside, driving the St. Lawrence Radiology number seven MM, the Fonda Speedway champion, Michael Maresca. Outside of him, driving in the number 19 W. He is out of York, New York, the Mercer Milling Company 19 W, is Justin Wright. Final row inside, driving the Conestoga Valley Custom Kitchens. Terry Fosnock owned number 2A from Boyertown, Pennsylvania. The 2020 Big Diamond Champion, Mike Guler. And the final starting spot, the Orange County, an outlaw speedway champion from last year. Driving in the Herlock Audubon Speed Gibbons Produce, Westmoreland Golf Club 9S. It is Superman, Matt Shepard. Dylan Groover and Tyler Dipple brings them down to the chalk line. Green flag is out and heat race number four is underway. Hoover is going to lead the thundering herd into turn number one, but gets sideways three wide in turn number two. Here comes Tyler Dipple with a run. He'll lead him down the back stretch. Wow, three wide for two different roads as they work down the back stretch. Here comes Buffalino. They'll try three wide again. Cozy Brockman Buffalino. Lap number one off the turn. It'll be Tyler Dipple. What an opening lap here. We have the four key races. Eye on the 126 of Dominic Buffalino. He's going to contend for the third spot. Try to get below Dylan Gruber there. Can't quite make that pass as now Tyler Dipple. He was challenged by Matt Stangle there momentarily. Dipple, he's going to slide high there off of turn number four. Lead the bottom side open for Stangle. Battle brewing now. Fourth, fifth, third, fourth, and fifth right now. Here comes Buffalino as he closes in on the 12 of Dylan Gruber, who's chasing Frank Cozy. Right behind them, Chad Brockman, Michael Moreska, and Mike Guler. 
Gruber holding down that fourth and final transfer spot, but Dominic Buffalino just got by. He's not done near that as he's going to look to the bottom side of Frank Cozy. Cozy hangs on, but here comes Dylan Gruber battling back. That's the uh, battle for that fourth and final transfer spot. Down the back, Buffalino on the outside will go around Dylan Groover as they head down the back straightaway. Dylan losing a few spots after starting from the pole. Tyler Dipple still rim riding around the speedway. He leads the way over Matt Stangle. Third is Frank Cozy, the veteran, followed by Buffalino, then Groover, then Brockman. Then a great battle between Guler, Shepard, Mareska, and Justin Wright. Shepard trying to find some grip there on the top side there in the middle of turns one and two. He has his eyes set on the deuce there of Mikey Goulart. Now Goulart is going to look to the bottom side of Brockman, make that pass. Shepard trying to follow him there on the front stretch. He's also going to look to the inside of Brockman to make that pass. Move the 9S up into that seventh spot. Right now, Dominic Buffalino holding on to the last qualifying spot. Then Dylan Groover. Mike Gouler is closing on Dylan Groover. Matt Shepard has now picked a couple of cars off. He's moving up through the pack as we work now on the two lap signal. Two to go, and Tyler Dipple is comfortably out in front. Keep your eye on the 2A of Mike Goular. He has found something through the middle of the racetrack. Right now, he's going to drive by the 12X of Dylan Groover. Move the 2A up into fifth. He's still on the outside looking at it. Can he move into that fourth and final transfer spot? As White Flag is out, one more lap to go. I'll tell you what, the 2 of Mike Goular loves the track when it gets a little slick, slippery out there, and it's now coming into his liking. But he's running out of laps here. Buffalino trying to catch Frank Cozy now for the third spot. And we'll come home to a checker. Checkered flag is out. And coming down to the line will be the 1D of Tyler Dipple. He will win the fourth heat race. Coming also home second will be the 6S of Matt Stangle. Fourth at the line is going to be the 401 of Frank Cozy. And in fourth, the 126 of Dominic Buffalino. Following Buffalino, we had... Groover, Guler, Shepard, Brockman, Mareska, and Wright. Heat number four, the one of Tyler Dipple, the winner. The six, Matt Tangle gets second. 401, Frank Cozy third. And the 126, Dominic Buffalino qualifying in fourth position. Heat five lining up this way. Pole position. He is a two-time series champion last season in 2020. He had two previous short track Super Series championships, driving out of Sprakers, New York, to Hallmark number 44, Stuart Friesen. And alongside of him, driving out of April Park, New York, in the A. Colorado and Sun number 74, two-time Lebanon Valley track champion, J.R. Hefner. Second row inside, driving the 1ZT's core pack merchandising number 1Z out of Sprakers, New York, it's Jessica Friesen. In, outside of her, driving out of Wordsboro, New York, in the Shackleton Auto with Truck Parts, RGH Construction number 16X will be Danny Creedon, Danny and former Thunder Mountain Track Champion. Third row on the inside, driving in the Dan Sommeling, Danny's Pizza Pizzazz, as going to tile and flooring number 51M out of Douglasville, Pennsylvania, the Douglasville Destroyer, Tim Buckwalter. And outside of him, driving out of Milford, Delaware, in the IG Burton dealerships, LNW Insurance number 30, JoJo Joseph Watson. Fourth row on the inside, driving out of Birdsboro, Pennsylvania, the Hampton Brothers Truck Repair, Weichel Raceway, 74W. The ultimate underdog is Johnny Wilman. Alongside of him, driving car number 35. Hailing out of Butler, Pennsylvania, the Steve's Auto Body Repair, 35, Steve Slater. And the final starting spot, driving the 11J from Brockport, New York, to Sweeting Enterprises, 11J, James Sweeting. James Sweeting, heat number five, set to go eight laps. Recent Hefner, bring him down. We're underway for the fifth and final heat race up here for the big clock modifies. Recent's going to lead him in the turn number one. Here comes now Jessica Friesen going to slide in that second position. But J.R. Hefner not going away. She's going to battle her in a three. Side by side battle. Whoa, Buckwater a little high in the corner. They try to go three wide through the turn. Here comes the inside lane. That's Johnny Wilman with his spec small block, the ultimate underdog. Now moving up the inside lane, battling past JoJo Watson, now battling with Danny Creedon. Great battle. You see Reeson is in that second spot. Then you have 
the 74 of JR half their cars battling behind them for that fourth and final transfer spot. Right now, the 16X of Danny Breeden holds it, but John Wilman, the 74, wants it. Wilman down low. Here comes Creighton and Wilman as they battle down the back straighter. We got all kinds of engine combinations out here. Big block, big blocks, open small blocks, and spec small blocks, which Johnny Wilman has. He works out of the corner. Grandview Speedway regular battling with Danny Creighton. Following them, JoJo Watson, and then the 51 of Buck Walter and the 11 of Sweeting. Meanwhile, the Friesen's running one and two. Stu and Jess, and then we got the 74 of J.R. Hefner. I've been keeping my eye on the 30 of Joseph Watson right there. You see him on your screen. He has been working the top side to perfection as he's closing in the gap on the 74 of John Williams. Once again, William working down low of Danny Greenan. Remember, that is a battle for that fourth and final transfer spot in the turn number two. Holding him off is Danny Greenan, but he is under some heavy, heavy pressure. Stuart Friesen making it look easy right now. Back in the Speed Showcase 200, he had to take a provisional start at 39th. Race to the lead, then ended up second. Jay-Z, Jessica Friesen running in the number two spot. Here comes Wilman side by side with Friedman into turn one. Wilman turning up the pressure, and JoJo's right behind him. Throw a blanket over the three of them as they head down the back. Three-car battle for that fourth and final transfer spot. Who wants it right now? Dan and Creed, and he slides high there off a of turn number four. Wilman had some bite on the bottom. He's going to take that fourth and final transfer spot. Wow, the ultimate underdog did not give up. He just kept pressuring and pressuring. And now gets by Danny Creed. Creed and not giving up. He'll sweep to the outside down the back. And Joseph Watson and Timmy Buckwalter are right behind him. We are now taking the white flag. Just one lap to go. Stuart Friesen, your leader, already out to a straightaway lead over Jessica Friesen. But the battle is not over yet for that fourth and final transfer spot. Heading for the final lap. Wilman has it, but here comes Creighton again, going after him as they head down the back. We'll take Checker out of turn number four. Easy victory for Stewart Friesen. Runner-up spot up straight away behind will be Jessica Friesen, followed by J.R. Hefner. Who's going to be fourth? Wilman and Creighton battling off the corner, but Watson and Buckwalter. It'll be Johnny Wilman taking the fourth spot ahead of Creighton, Watson, Buckwalter, and Sweeting. Wow. What it was again. It was racing. Unbelievable competition for the Bob Hilbert Sportswear Short Track Super Series modified, fueled by Sunoco. Heat number five, the winning driver, the 44, Stuart Friesen, followed by the 1Z, Jessica Friesen, 74, J.R. Hefner, 74W of John Wilman. Max McLaughlin, Matt Williamson, Alex Jankowski, Tyler Dipple, Stuart Friesen, the Heat winners. We took four out of five heats. 20 cars are now into today's 40 lap. Speed Showcase event. So, four heat races for the Zimmer Service Center, you'll 